Welcome back to Tetra Cancer Promona Block. This is what I expect to be quite a quick video about precautionary steps when you're soldering in semiconductors to make sure you don't destroy them with heat. Got an X15 board here and after I turned it back on I heard a popping sound. I saw some magic smoke come out. On closer inspection this transistor had blown itself in half. Just one half of it, the casing and the other leg, the third leg were sort of like split apart. The main thing I want to show you is if you're using your soldering iron at a high heat, so I've got mine setting at about 350 degrees Celsius. If you touch the contacts for too long, then um, you can destroy the semiconductor. The obvious thing to do there is not to hold it for too long, but as a precaution, what you can do is you can buy a hemostat. I mean, you can buy these for a couple of quid off eBay or Amazon or whatever. And then what you can do is attach it to the lead before you solder and that acts like a heat sink. A proportion of the excess heat coming from the soldering iron is going to go into this large piece of metal rather than into the heat sensitive semiconductor on the other side of the PCB. So obviously this means you don't clip the leads until after you've soldered. So I would want to get the tip of the solder in there for a couple of seconds to heat it up, then apply the solder, hold it for another second and then remove. That should be safe. I already did one before I started filming, so here's the third one. Then with all three joints soldered, I can clip the excess wire out of the way. Right, thanks for watching. See you again soon.